you guys, it's Sunday, and this is Savannah's version of making sugar cookies. Look at this. I can't even call it a cookie. It's a flatbread something. It's like a non-bread. Savannah, <laughs> what? I I don't know. I I I don't know, you guys. I'm cracking up. Okay, taste you guys. It. She wants me to take her taste her sugar non flatbread thing. She said it tastes like cornbread. <laughs> Savannah. Okay, let's try this again, okay? Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. One more day of work this week, and I have a long weekend. I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, because Monday is Labor Day, and Sunday is my birthday. I'm so excited. Only 17 more days till vacation, you guys. So excited. I made my coffee at home today so good anyway if you're wondering why I have something covered here is because as you can see I'm not in my gray or black anymore we got new uniforms which is okay whatever but somebody one of them the higher-ups <laughs> got the great idea that we're gonna embroidery is how do you say that word embroider embroidery whatever anyway they have the name of my company on the shirt and I'm like what if I didn't want anyone to know where I work what if I go to the store and everyone can just see where I work anyway I don't like that and the way the scrub is made is really cute because it's like a v-neck for the ladies in the back it has like this little singe area that gathers so it's really cute how it's made but for the men of course there's not very many men in the dental field other than dentists but I mean as far as assistants or people that work in the front office but the men they just have regular blue scrubs like this that says the company name um, but it's not made like this if you know what I'm saying so and I don't like the color. So yes, I'm complaining all the way around. Every time I vlog now, I'm gonna have to have something covering up um, my company name. 17 more days until vacation. And by the time you guys see this, cause you know how I do, it'll probably be something like 13 days. <laughs> cause I've been vlogging a little bit every day. I have not committed to a full day of vlogging in I don't know how long. Savannah still has not pulled out her suitcase and neither has Tariq. Cheyenne is almost fully packed and so am I. I still need to throw a few things in there and I think I'm going to actually do that this weekend so I can call it done. That way I won't have to worry about anything. And I think I'm gonna try to like have them at least bring the suitcase out and pack something that they don't need. I'm sure there's one or two outfits that they don't need or they don't have to wear in 17 days. Oops, I did it again. I did not vlog. When I got home from work, in a clip you just seen, totally silly. Anyway, good morning you guys. It's Friday and I'm off and I have a few errands to run after I drop Savannah off to school. I was going to say work. And I got you guys in my messy room and messy bathroom. Yeah, but bunch of clean clothes I need to put away when I come back. I'm cleaning my whole room, so gonna do that. Gonna cook today, because you guys know, well, if you don't know, um, I don't cook every day. That's just what I do. So I'm just getting ready, and I'm mostly done. Are you guys tired of seeing me like this? I am. I know I am. I'm actually going to text the braider today and see if she has any openings this weekend or if not this weekend sometime soon because the reason why I was waiting so long I think I told you guys just to get my hair done is because I wanted the fresh head with a fresh head I, I wanted a fresh hairdo when we go on vacation that's the reason why I waited so long so yeah hopefully she has cancellations this weekend if not then I'll have to wait until I know Monday's a holiday but so I'll probably have to wait till next Friday which I don't want to do because it's crunch time it's 15 days left till our vacation and there's still a whole lot of stuff for me to do and get done so anyway yeah let's finish getting ready and get Savannah to school so I can get back and clean woohoo Gone to the bank. I have. I went to Kaiser to get my 
thyroid medication because I was running low on that and I don't want to have to worry about doing that before vacation. So I got that taken care of and then I went to Walmart, surprise, surprise. Now I'm on my way to Winco to get some food to cook tonight. And then the lady who's gonna braid my hair, she texted me and she just happened to have an opening tomorrow at one o'clock so I'm trying a new person out because if you guys remember the last time my braider did my hair I ended up looking like Rick James which was not funny and I hated it I yeah it was horrible so I'm trying a new lady out and I'm kind of scared but hey I'll never know how she does unless you know I try her out but I have to go pick up the hair which is the neighborhood that I live in, the area that I live in, there's no black hair shops. And I know you guys cannot see me. So there's no black hair shops. I mean, there's like a Sally's Beauty Supply, but you know, that's not going to give me the hair that I need for when I get my hair braided or anything like that. So the neighborhood I have to go in is kind of sketchy. And normally when I go, my girls are with me or I take Tyreek with me and I never vlog when I'm there because I'm, I've literally seen people get their purses stolen in that area and just all kinds of crazy things happen. So I don't like going there alone, but I don't want to wait until Savannah gets off school to go with me because when I get home, I got to clean and stuff like that. So I will be going there by myself. Y'all pray for me. But of course, when you guys see this, I'll be done. All right, you guys, so I am on my way to get my hair. But I want to explain something to you guys first really quick. So when I say go into the hood and whatever, if you think I'm bougie, okay, that's fine. I know sometimes we act bougie, but I don't ever want to come across as me thinking I'm better than anyone else. I don't feel that way. I Trust me, I came from humble beginnings. And not that I have a lot of money now, but God has blessed me, right? But I worked my way. Let me go back. The area where I'm going, before I bought my house, I used to live in this area where I'm going. Not on the same street, but you know, somewhere around the area. So yeah, it's it's a little it's it's a little sketchy. Um and I worked my way to get my kids up out of that area before they really got teenagers and all that because it was a lot of gangs in that neighborhood and that's all I was able to afford at that time. But the more, the better jobs I got, the more raises I got. I saved my money and I did what I needed to do. And you guys probably can't see me. Anyway, I did what I needed to do to get up out that neighborhood. And I mean, I know anything can happen anywhere. I can move to the richest neighborhood in Sacramento, wherever that might be, maybe Rockland, I don't know. But I can move to the best neighborhood and stuff can happen there, I get that. But. I got my kids out of an area that is known for that. So yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking I'm better. When I was younger, the area that I'm going to was not that bad. It was actually a decent area. And just over the years, it just got like horrible, full of just people, bad people doing bad things. All right, I survived the hood. I'm back at home and I'm starting dinner. It actually took me four hours to complete everything that I needed to get done today. I wasn't planning on being out that long, but I don't know, just taking my time shopping or whatever. But I'm slow cooking a pot roast for dinner tonight, but I'm not going to do it in the slow cooker. I am going to do it in the oven. I've done it this way before, and I turned the oven like on 200 and let it cook most of the day slowly. It's so good like that. And usually I like potatoes and carrots in my pot roast, but the kids don't like that. So they usually leave it in the pot and you know, I'll eat it or maybe I don't eat it all, whatever. So I'm just not putting it in this time, but I will show you guys how I make my pot roast. So this is just two of the beef chuck boneless pot roast. And what I did is, I don't know if you could tell, but I poked holes all over. And then I have my gloves here cause I cut up some garlic and you guys know garlic if you cut it up before the smell lasts all day long on your fingers and I did not want that so anyway I chopped up garlic and then I just sprinkle salt and pepper in there on there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it inside the pot roast that way it gives it flavor all the way through 
Okay, so I'm vlogging with my left hand. I'm not a lefty, you guys, just to show you what I'm doing. So I put a glove back on. So everywhere that I put a hole in there, I may need to make some deeper. So everywhere that I put a little hole, I will just put in the garlic. Okay, you guys, I'm going to need both of my hands for this, so... Let me show you when it's done. Okay, so I am done putting the garlic in there. Ooh, the camera lens wasn't open all the way. Anyway, so you can tell it's in there and most of them I tucked it down really deep because these are pretty thick cuts of pot roast, which is good. And I do my turkeys like this also on Thanksgiving. That way your turkey has flavor and it's not as dry. So yeah, you can do this also for your turkey and pot roast. And ignore my trash here. This is the first time I'm going to be attempting to use this. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. I got this from Winco and it says slow cooker. And I'm sure it's meant for the slow cooker, but you can use it however you want to but it's the tavern style pot roast and i opened it just to taste it and it's very flavorful so i'm not going to add too much seasoning on the meat because like i said i already put the garlic with the salt and pepper through there so i don't want it to be too salty or too spicy so i'm just going to put a light sprinkle of creole seasoning because you guys know that's my go-to i love creole seasoning and then i will pour this on there i put my creole seasoning on there now i'm gonna add the gravy the gravy is on and i got two packs i don't think i'll need two packs and i probably should have used a bigger pan but this is my pot roast pan you guys it makes pot roast really good so i want to use this but i'm gonna put a cookie sheet under it just in case it bubbles over but I'm gonna put my oven on 200 to start and then cook it all day all right you guys so now that the food is in the oven I've eaten breakfast oh, I didn't show you guys what I ate I just got something from jack-in-the-box like a breakfast burrito or whatever and I also got a caramel latte mocha whatever you want to call that so just have my coffee and now finally I'm about to clean my room if I sit down and relax, it may never get done, so I better do it now. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my room before and then I'll show you after. It's pretty messy. Take it in because I'll probably never show you guys my room messy again. And then over here, my luggage. And then in here, I have my rugs I have to put up and then those are clean clothes that I have to put away and then I have to wash my dirty clothes so yeah take it all in because I probably will never show you guys my messy room or my messy bathroom again because I don't know I just probably won't I'm embarrassed that I'm showing you guys this this is a mess this is about as good as it gonna get and then I wash my rugs and I put them down there and Guys, I don't use my bathtub at all. I think since I've been here since 2011, I have taken a bath maybe five times just, you know, to say I used it. But this is where I keep my laundry hampers because if I put it in my room, it takes up too much space. So, I mean, even though this is in my room, but you know what I'm saying. So, I have the dirty clothes right there that I have to continue washing. And then my clean clothes right there, I have to fold those and put those away and then my room this is as good as it's gonna get once again because I actually live here I have things on my dresser that some things I have to go through and I just don't feel like doing it right now and then my CDs I'm gonna put it out in my car I actually made my bed you guys you guys know this is a rare occasion very rare and then I have stuff over there also I just have to put that light box away and yeah so you guys room is done I can relax so you guys can you see what's still not on the wall I swear sometimes I'm the biggest procrastinator procrastinator I'm dark okay focus okay much better anyway sometimes I'm the biggest procrastinator and sometimes I forget about it but it's right here on my kitchen counter and Melissa had told me that 
The command strips work better than the double-sided tape, even though the other side was Gorilla Tape, but apparently it didn't work very well because it fell. So, when I was at Walmart today, I bought some command strips, so I'm gonna finally put this up so I can get back on the wall. All right, so here we go. I don't think I need to put no more than what's here on there because it says, um, for something this size, it holds up to six pounds, and this is definitely not six pounds. It may be like two or three, so I'm going to put it up there, and if for some reason it does come down, I have more here, so I can just put it on. And just like that, it's back where it belongs. If for some reason it falls, then I have more to put on there, so it should stay, though. Oh, I cannot wait till tomorrow I get this taken care of. Anyway, it's been maybe about three and a half hours since I put the pot roast in. So let's check and see how it's coming along. So this is the first time I've opened it since I put it in the oven. And you guys, I wish you can smell it. It smells so good. Of course, it's still not done. So I'm going to put it in and it's on 220 right now. I'm going to raise the temperature just a touch. Okay, you guys, so... I went to bed so late last night. I was tossing and turning. I couldn't sleep. Me, Cheyenne, and Tyreek were, when Tyreek got home from work, we were talking about where we're going on vacation. I almost said it. And I just got so excited. I don't know. So they went to bed and I was just in my bed tossing and turning and thinking about how excited. And today is it's gonna be 15 days until we go. And oh my goodness, I, could not sleep. I cannot imagine the night before. I don't think I'm gonna sleep. I honestly, you guys, did not get to bed until maybe like 3.30. I got up, <laughs> no, I didn't get up at 3.30, but like around 1.30, still wide awake. I put some clothes in the washer and I started straightening up and doing a few things. And then I'm like, you know what, I need to go to bed. And so I really only had maybe three hours sleep because I got Savannah up at six and I got up then and I've been going ever since. But I get to sleep in tomorrow and then, but not too long because I get my hair done tomorrow. Finally guys, I'm tired of looking like this. So I'm sitting here just relaxing and you know, drifting off to sleep. And then I'm like, <laughs> start smelling like, ooh, something smells good. And I'm like, oh crap, I'm cooking. So I got up and I checked the food and it's fine you guys. Cause remember I had it on a really low setting and I tasted it, oh my goodness, you guys. I will let you see it a little bit later. It's only 3.30 or maybe 3.40, and dinner is done. It is so good, it's so good. I really wish we could have had it with potatoes and carrots, but like I said, my kids are basic when it comes to pot roast, and they only want the pot roast and the gravy. So yeah, I'm cooking rice right now, and we're gonna have an early dinner. And oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. I just cut this apart. You can literally, I'm pretty sure I can cut this with a butter knife. It's so soft and tender. Look at this. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. Mmm, so good. 